Welcome. In this video I will cover basic off-page SEO for an independent pharmacy website. Search Engine Optimization, or SEO for short, is the process of employing techniques that help a website rank higher in the search engines when specific search terms are entered in the search field. There are two types of SEO. These are on-page SEO and off-page SEO. On-page SEO involves adjusting the factors on the website itself to improve rankings. Off-page SEO, on the other hand, utilizes building appropriate inbound links to the website in order to improve the website's rankings. In our experience, if on-page SEO is done correctly for a pharmacy website, it will sometimes rank well for the selected search terms without having to do much off-page SEO at all. In this training, I'm going to make the assumption that your website creator has already completed on-page SEO and you need to employ off-page SEO to get your site to rank. Let's get started. Your website needs to have links from other websites to yours. Why? Will the search engine see links from a website to yours as a vote of approval for your site? They look at the content of the linking site and the context of the text surrounding the link. In order to determine the relevance of your website. As a result, you want to have links to your site from related websites whenever possible. If you have a local pharmacy website, here are some places you need to go to create an account and then add or update your business information and create a link to your website. Google Plus Local. Google accounts for two-thirds of all searches online. As a result, it is essential to get your pharmacy website listed on Google Plus Local. But since Google pulls information from other sources on the internet, there is a good chance your pharmacy is already listed there. To check this, go to plus.google.com forward slash local and search for your pharmacy. If you find your pharmacy listed, then you want to scroll down the page and you will find a button on the bottom right that says, Is this your business? Manage this page. If your page is not listed, then go to google.com forward slash local forward slash ad. In either case, you will want to prepare a brief 200 character description of your pharmacy and services. You will also want to have up to six, six good photographs or graphics ready for uploading. Just follow the instructions on the page and you should be done in a very short time. Make sure you add a link from Google Plus Local to your website because if people find you on Google Plus Local, you want them to be able to click through to your website where you have even more information about your pharmacy, its staff, and services. Now let's look at the independent pharmacy directory. When it comes to websites, this one tops the list for being relevant. With thousands of independent pharmacies across the country listed, there is a large number of people look, using this resource to find an independent pharmacy near their home, work, or travel destination. This website allows you to add several paragraphs of text as well as list your services. Also, the site offers a premium listing which places your listing at the top of the search queries and makes your pharmacy a featured listing in the selected category. The featured listings also allow you to link to your website, Facebook page, and Twitter account, upload images, and more. Because this directory includes only pharmacies and excludes the big chains, this is an essential place to have your pharmacy listed. You definitely need to get a free listing, and if you feel that you need extra help with search engine optimization or there's a lot of competition in your neighborhood, you might want to consider getting the premium listing. You want to start by searching for your pharmacy to see if it is already listed. If you find it, then just click the Claim Listing button and enter the requested information. If you can't find your pharmacy, then you can use this link, independentpharmacydirectory.com forward slash create dash listing. Now let's move on to Yelp. Yelp was created to connect people with local businesses. They do this using the internet iPhone, Blackberry, and Android apps. Every business owner can create a free account to add photos and to message their customers. You can get started by going to biz.yelp.com forward slash sign up. Once you are there, search for your pharmacy to see if it is already listed. If you find it, 
you can click the unlock button that corresponds to it. If your business is not listed, click the add your business to Yelp link at the bottom of the list. Adding information is just a matter of filling out the form. When you are done, just hit the add button at the bottom. Foursquare. Like Yelp, Foursquare helps connect businesses and people. They also have apps for the iPhone, Android, and Blackberry, and they make it easy to sign up. You can use Facebook to create an account. To get started, go to foursquare.com and search for your business. If you find your business, there will be a link in small print at the bottom right-hand side of the website that says, Do you manage this business? Claim here. From there, you can just enter your business information. So there you have it. These are the top places to get your independent pharmacy listed and to help improve your pharmacy's website rankings, create links to your website, and get more traffic. Thank you for watching.